Wolfenstein The New Order released on the 20th for the Xbox One, Xbox 360, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3 and PC. And for the first two hours I was extremely bored. It was a dull shooting gallery piled on top of an opening sequence that had some dude you don't know barking orders at you in an awfully cliche, here shoot down these planes sequence. That said, it does get a lot better. Majority of the game takes place in the 1960s, in a world where the Nazis won the war and everyone has given up on trying to fight them. There's no resistance, characters will tell you, and your protagonist, Blaskowicz, will politely disagree. After being separated from some of your World War II buddies, the rest of the game is a fight to bust them out of jail and take down the Nazis for good. The resistance part of the plot is interesting enough and actually has a very Bioshock feel. A collection of odd but surprisingly well fleshed out characters are holed up in a secret base that delivers an outstanding sense of unnerve. And there's even a little dream sequence that I'll just let you experience for yourself. It's just too good to spoil. But even with the alternate universe setting and a well established sense of hopelessness, there was a very underwhelming lack of emphasis on the Nazis' actual influence on the world. When you're told about all the awful things they've done, you want to see that, or at least feel it, but it never comes about. You have to deal with an actual historical figure, Death's Head, and you occasionally see some shots of cities with implied harsh regimes, but the mostly inside levels don't do much to hint at any suffering beyond what you experience firsthand, which makes it lack some well-needed atmosphere. Beyond the story, the game involves a whole lot of shooting, but that's exactly what you should expect from Wolfenstein. Firstly, you can dual wield assault rifles. Yep, assault rifles and shotguns and handguns. Almost anything in your limitless weapon inventory can be held in both hands at once to deliver some serious pain. And as soon as you run out of ammo, you can just pick some up from the Nazi corpses that have fallen at your feet. Of course, they fight back. Aside from a few different kinds of robots and the occasional room that you get locked inside and nearly burnt to death, which is a premise this game definitely doesn't take as seriously as it should, by the way. Most of the enemies are exactly the same. There's a heavy type and the occasional guys with batons who politely wait in line for you to kill one guy before it's their turn to try and beat you down, but the rest is very standard. And the AI is fairly acute. While they sometimes know exactly where you are for seemingly no reason, you can also trick them into thinking you're still behind a different corner while you flank them from the other side. There is the occasional on-rails stealth sequence where you sneak your way into a foreign building and take out all your enemies by brutally stabbing them in the neck, but that usually leads to an ambush pretty quickly. That said, your health regenerates and you pick up armor as you go along, usually in the form of a helmet or a shattered robot if you've knocked the helmets off of these crazy high-tech looking Nazis. I kind of can't help but imagine the main character Blaskowicz just running around with these stacks of helmets just on top of his head. Beautiful. There are various sections that don't have any combat at all too, with little simple puzzles or mini fetch quests giving you extra reasons to explore. In a game where the violence is so, so violent, these little breaks are almost necessary, and the overall experience is beautifully paced as a result. Yeah, there's a lot of brutal shooting, but there are also really specific objectives that sometimes don't require shooting at all. This R18 title is mostly all about ruthless murder, but it does a great job of adding in substance where a lot of other shooters seem to fail. The flaws I mentioned, like the lack of atmosphere and overly standard enemies, are all very slight. And overall, I had a lot of fun and am sincerely glad to have played it. I'm Alana, and thanks for watching Button Bash.